Okay, so today we'll continue with uh, the maps, guys. So last time we have covered uh, uh, this kind of map uh, that basically is changed based on uh, whatever we select. Like we select any region and it will show that particular region and the profit and loss percentage on that region. So today we'll uh, go forward with another exercise with maps and this would be uh, maps with the radius. So the uh, scenario here is so we uh, uh, basically in the data set we have uh, multiple coffee shops of Dutch Bros. Uh, and we need to find what is the uh, which coffee shop is nearest to me based on the city I choose and the distance I choose. So if I just make it full screen. Like uh, right now, you can choose any state. I want to know under uh, this state, uh, this city, what, how many uh, coffee shops do, do I have in the 5 km radius? As of now, it's showing one, and if we change the radius, it may show more. So this is what we are going to create. So basically, based on our distance, uh, it should show me uh, how many shops I have in, the, in that geographical location. So we'll start with that. So first thing, uh, we have to connect to the data, and uh, the data is from the source, uh, data world. And this is data. The first uh, data that we have is basically city latitude and longitude. So it gives us the uh, latitude, longitude of the city. And the second data is basically the uh, location of the shops. Okay, uh, so we'll connect to the power here. search functionality in the slicer uh, this is what uh, that's a custom slicer uh, not the normal slicer that we use by default so we have to basically find this kind of, uh, this visual and add it to the speed of uh, visual okay okay so we'll connect to the data just to check whether it's coming correctly or not. First thing that we need to do is uh, we need to calculate a distance between these latitude longitude and uh, these latitude longitude. And before that, we have to make it the uh, like power. We understand these are not mathematical function; these are latitude longitude. So first, summarize would be don't summarize, and the data category would be latitude.
Now, uh, to calculate uh, the distance between the city and the egg, what will do? We'll use the formula. So, we have this formula here uh, distance kilometer, city latitude. Uh, so, what we do? Uh, we are calculating latitude and longitude from the city file, then latitude and longitude from the uh, location file, and then we are using the formula this uh, to get a uh, distance between two. Uh, Geo points. I'll just copy paste this formula. Okay. So we have got the formula. Get the distance. Uh, just to calculate a distance. Like uh, here we have this table, oh, sorry, this slicer that basically determines the distance. So for that, what we'll do, we'll create another table, and uh, this will be a what if parameter. Let me show you that. Yeah, in the modeling we have this new parameter. We place here. And we'll name it as like maximum distance. This will be a whole number ranging from let's say one to fifty. And uh, we need a slicer on the face will click on OK. We got our first slicer. Basically, did determine, uh, this will determine the distance that we want to set. And uh, once we use a water parameter, we get a table. Yeah, this is a table uh, that has all the distance from 1 to 50. We'll add more sliders here. Yeah. Okay. So these are the slicers. So what we need to do is based on any kind of state we select and the city we select that we need a graph that will give us the location so we'll select this graph so latitude longitude will be this so let's latitude this is a longitude Like we have this here. Okay, now, what we need to do is basically we need uh, a pointer or a, a measure that will highlight this box or sorry, uh, the circle based on our filter uh, selection. Like a condition, uh, it will only do highlight those which are under 9 kilometer uh, distance. We have to create two measures, uh, first for the size and then for the color. We can map on size, map on color. So what, uh, the calculation is basically if uh, the distance that we have calculated is uh, less than or equal to uh, the maximum distance, then uh, we just check whether the city has been selected or not. And if it's selected, uh, mark it once and it's uh, equal to 5. Uh, so basically, uh, if it's 0.25, then only uh, it will show in here. Else, if it's one, it won't show in here. And 
create this map point color this is the same thing uh, whether if the city has been selected and the kilometer is within the given radius it will show this color else it will show any color Okay. There was only one within 50 meters. That's why it wasn't working. Okay. Any doubt on this? We just change the city. Yeah, in the tool tip, uh, we can add other details like what is the exact location. Right. And different reports. So, can you explain that map point size calculation? Okay. So what we are doing in here is uh, first the condition to check whether the distance that we have calculated for this location is less than equal to the maximum distance that we have set in the slicer. Mm -hmm. it, then what we are checking has been filtered. So basically we are checking whether the city has been filtered or not. Okay. Okay. Uh, so if a city is filtered, we are saying if uh, this distance is equal to zero, we mark it as one. Okay. So distance should not be equal to zero. Basically, uh, the geographical location should not be that pinpointed. Okay. Uh, then, uh, if it's not zero and uh, it's within the maximum distance, we we'll mark it as zero point two five. Okay. In other else condition, we we'll mark it as one or zero. So, and uh, what we are doing is, uh, you, if you see any of the color, only the map point of size two point five is visible. Okay. The one and the zero are, are not being visible here. Are we filtering out them or? So, uh, the calculation is in such a way that uh, if it's a one, uh, if uh, the value is one, uh, it's not going to be shown. Oh, okay. Yeah. In the math data. As well as uh, for the zero, basically zero is uh, there will be no circle at all. 
and uh, for the colors we are doing the same calculation uh, like first we are checking whether city has a filter or not uh, if city has a filter uh, that means this is distance comparison and uh, we are passing this color text code and if it's not uh, we are just passing hash that's i think black text but once we have this so we can ha add a new table in the side so that will just give you the address and the location address and the distance so right now it's showing us on everything based on these two filters so what we'll do we create a uh, one more measure here and that what that measure will do it will filter this table uh, just to show only those records only these five records for that we'll create another measure that we already have in here this is uh, just a simple calculation is within threshold. If the distance is within the uh, selected distance, we mark it as one, else mark it as zero. So once you have this, we can just Pull this in the filter pane and and we don't need the total, so we can remove the total from here. Yeah. These locations are uh, where we are having the distance. If you change the city, we'll have these two values. This is what I plan to play. Any doubts? Swap, is there any way to replace uh, the circles with the custom icons, like some logo of the company or something? Is there any way to do that? Mm, as of now, it's only have bubbles, so you can decide the bubble size. Not in this, but we can uh, download on the visual that will allow you to select any size, any shape. Yeah. 